Uh, the Lay City Authority has engaged in various funding support programs to rehabilitate roads in Lay. These programs include the DSIP component as well as the National Budget Support Program. Another funding partnership is 20% of Morabe Provincial Government's GST collection. This was handed over to LCA at its proposal to help fund road rehabilitations. The GST component is being used to fix suburban roads. Through the GST component, you have the things like uh, the golf club uh, road that was done. You have uh, the East Taraka suburban roads that are currently being done. Those roads, I think, first stage has been completed. They are now uh, working on the second stage. Uh, Eriku, the streets at Eriku will shortly be uh, contracts been awarded. Uh, shortly the uh, work will uh, begin there. Uh, that's for all our suburban streets inside Eriku. According to Lay MP John Rosso, road rehabilitation in Lay would cost approximately 200 million kina. The city's budget has not been enough to maintain funds for road rehabilitation alone, leading to the neglect on city roads over the years. With funding support, the Lay City Authority has managed to upgrade the Unitech to Egam Road and is currently facilitating the rehabilitation to the Malahang to Chinatown Road. These roads have been upgraded under the National Funding Support Program. So it's improving drainages, uh, improving the uh, road surface. It's going to be a concrete pavement surface all the way down to uh, Chinatown and the drainage will be wider and uh, a better drainage uh, system. That's to complement all the funding, uh, what you call it, all the flooding that happens in, uh, in Lay. Mr. Russell said industrial roads are also on LCA's road rehabilitation list and they are currently seeking partners to counterfund this project. Charlene Airy, National MTV News, Lay.